The completion of a construction project at maximum efficiency of time and cost requires the judicious scheduling and allocation of the primary resources of manpower, equipment, and materials. The supply and availability of these resources seldom can be taken for granted because of seasonal shortages, labor disputes, equipment breakdowns, competing demands, delayed deliveries, and a host of associated uncertainties. Nevertheless, if time schedules and cost budgets are to be met, the owner must be supplied with the necessary workers, equipment, and materials as they are needed on the job site. The basic objective of resource management is to supply and support the field operations so that established time objectives can be met and costs can be kept within the construction budget. Field supervisors can achieve favorable production rates and get the most from their workers and equipment only when the requisite ways and means are optimally available. It is the responsibility of the project manager to identify and schedule future job needs so that the most efficient use is made of the resources available. The project manager must determine long-range resource requirements for general planning and short-term resources for detailed planning. He must establish which resources will be needed, when they must be on site, and the quantities required. Arrangements must be made for their timely arrival with regular follow-up actions taken to ensure that promised delivery dates are kept. Where shortages, conflicting demands, or delays occur, the project manager must devise appropriate remedial measures. The project plan and schedule may have to be modified to accommodate or work around supply problems. The scheduling and allocation of workers, equipment, and materials are interrelated. It's important to remember that an action affecting one often affects the others in some manner. Music